at Game 7 last night. Played out like so many Game 7s. Ugly, grinding, down to the wire, Chris Fedor. What was the turning point in your mind? I thought the beginning of the third quarter, the Cavs went into halftime with a seven-point deficit. They didn't have any offense at all. They couldn't hit an outside shot, one of 14 from three-point range. Beginning of the third quarter, J.R. Smith shakes free. He knocks down the step-back jumper. He hits two straight three-pointers, creating the space that the Cavs needed offensively and giving the Cavs another offensive boost beyond Kyrie and LeBron so that they didn't have to do everything. And it was a personal 8-0 run for J.R. Smith, eight straight points. It's all he scored in the second <laughs> half, but it came at a time when it looked like Golden State could have run away and hid with the game, and he didn't let it happen. I completely concur, and I'll add to it, J.R. The Cav look, the Cavaliers had to come out with some forcefulness there. They're down seven. I think we all know if that goes 10-2 Golden State and it goes up to 15, mm, maybe lights out. JR and also, you know who else had seven points in the third quarter? Tristan Thompson. Two big buckets when they actually threw him the ball and he delivered and hit three or four free throws. So JR and Tristan in there, it allowed uh, LeBron and Kyrie to say, we got two other guys that are rolling here for this eight minute stretch. Absolutely the most critical moment in what would be the championship win. And how about Ty Lue calling that timeout when Steph Curry hit that three, made it a two possession game. I kind of went like this, uh-oh, there he goes. Nope, Ty called the timeout, yeah. Cavs got back into right. it.